Hi, I'm Kay Hickman. And I'm Susan Beck. And today we're going to be continuing to work on our This and That embellishment sampler. Today we're looking at adding texture to fabric. So that is this block right here. And I love this technique, Kay, because it creates texture on the fabric, and that's one of my favorite things about working with fabrics. Yes, and the particular product that we're working with today is a product that I've recently discovered called Texture Magic by Superior Threads. This is so much fun to do because you can be particular, you can be precise, or you can just start squiggle sewing wherever <laughs> you want to be. I particularly like sewing straight lines, and you can see that the distance that you sew between the straight lines creates a great difference in the way it, it does, works. It does, gives you a completely different look. What I like to help me sew straight lines is to use the seam guides available through Bernina. As you can see, these have a long ruler effect that is on the front of the foot that you can slide back and forth to help you sew rows of any distance through here from left to right. There is also a left guide that you can use whether you want to sew on the left or the right side of your original line. So you can get your exact spacing that you want very easily. Yes. I love it when we have tools that make our sewing easier. I do too, Susan. On this one we'd have the straight lines, but also if you want to, you can just Wiggle. This like you can have a lot of fun with this. So for fun on this one, I just followed the flowers and just kind of meandered around. So really any kind of stitching will work. Yes, it will, Susan. Well, tell us about the process. All right, I will. Then you take just any type of fabric. You're going to choose a fabric you want to use. Now different fabrics will produce different results also, but then you just layer the back texture magic on the back. Mm -hmm. You just cut this to the size that you're going to be working with pin the four corners. And at this point, all you have to do is start stitching. Whether you want to do the squiggle stitching or the straight line stitching, the choice is yours. Okay. Then after you get everything done that you want to do, now is when the fun part starts. So this one is stitched. Yes. And you're ready to texture. And it's really easy to continue the process. You're just going to lay that with the texture magic side up. So it's face down. So it's face down. Then you get your iron with plenty of steam and you're just going to set it over the top. Don't touch the texture magic. So this happens with the steam. It does. It happens with the steam. The more steam, the better the texture. I like to flip it over and steam it on the second side to see what kind of texture I'm getting. It really is magic. Yes. It will stop shrinking when it has finished shrinking, so you can just keep on doing this until you have the desired look. So here's the one that I've just done. Now, you do start out larger because it's going to shrink up. Oh yes, it shrinks about 30%, okay. so you need to start out with a larger square than what you're going to need. So if you would like to know more about Texture Magic or the Bernina Seam Guides, visit your local Bernina dealer today.